Hey there everyone, welcome back to the Two Guys in a Cooler channel. Today we're going to be posting an Edge Pro hack. This hack is awesome, alright? This is going to enable you to sharpen your axes, your machetes, uh, really pretty much any kind of metal like that without destroying your aluminum oxide or your choceras or your diamond stones or whatever you got. And uh, I, I'm basically reposting this video that's slightly edited because originally I did this Edge Pro hack but my obsessive compulsive disorder got in the way and I ended up cutting this file too short and it kept slipping out. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way. And so what I'm doing now, which is what I didn't do in the first place, is I'm measuring the length of the file to the size of that blank. Because what I'm looking for is I wanna cut that file to basically be the length of that blank. And here's the problem the first go around, which actually led to a secondary hack. I cut that file too short, as you can see right here, so if I put the two next to each other, like side by side, I'm about almost an inch to three quarters of an inch too short. It kept slipping out. So what I did was I ended up taking some 3M77, right? Which is awesome adhesive. This is what Edge Pro uses. This is what Chef Knives to Go uses. This is what Jinda Industries uses uh, to, to mount their blanks. And so get your hands on a bottle of it and you can save yourself a whole lot of money. I sprayed that blank with 3M's 77, let it kind of cure for a minute, and then put that file right on top of it, and now I've got a file attached to the blank. The only problem with that is that it, only one side of it's showing, and so I sort of lose the advantage of having a coarse and a fine. And so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my angle grinder. I'm just going to cut right there where I made that line, and what we're going to be left with is the perfect length that's going to put just enough resistance against that spring to hold it in place, as you can see right here. Now, I ended up tapering the edges just a tiny little bit so that they could fit inside that groove just a little bit better. But even without the edges tapered, this thing was rock solid. It was not coming out, and I could pull on it and push on it, and it was totally fine. And so uh, if I were to do it all over again, I'd probably get a file that was the same width throughout the entire bit. But after using it, it really didn't make that big of a difference because that particular file was securely locked in place with the spring. And so there's there's my two hacks. The top one is using 3M's 77, that's the glue adhesive, and the bottom one is cutting it to the length of a blank and then uh, using the spring as the resistance so that it holds itself in place. And so why don't we put these things to use? Um, I've got a couple machetes that some folks want me to sharpen. And the problem with sharpening a machete is that you end up burning through your workhorse stones. You know, whether you're using the cheap diamond plates from uh, Chef Knives to Go or you're using the 220s from Edge Pro, you're going to burn through these stones trying to sharpen machetes because it all comes down to geometry. And generally on a machete, you're hitting an angle that's anywhere between 25 to 35 degrees. And so with the coarse part of this stone, with this file basically, let me show you what we're looking at. And this is just one pat. This is my first pass on a machete that looks like it's never once been sharpened. So a, a matter of fact, it looks like it, a bevel's never been created. And so what we're doing is we're creating the bevel with this file. And then from here, I'll flip the file over, make a couple passes on the fine side, all right? And then I could start working through my progressions, whether I'm going to do my, you know, 220, 400, 600, and stop at a thousand. At that point, it's a regular sharpening, but my geometry's already been created, and I don't have to burn up a lot of material trying to get that angle right. So there you go. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, share, and click that notification bell. All right, see you in the next video.